Driverless cars are coming to the streets of Britain, or at least to the pavements of Milton Keynes. This is one of three public trials of autonomous vehicles, as developers start to turn their prototypes into the driverless cars of the future. So this is the Lutz Pathfinder pod. It's equipped with 21 different sensors to allow it to build a three-dimensional picture of the topology of Milton Keynes. This is a laser radar which can tell you very accurately how far you are away from something. Because we're right at the start of the research and development project, the vehicle is equipped with a steering wheel and foot controls, a brake and an accelerator. Eventually, these parts will disappear. Ultimately, all you'll see inside the pod are two iPads, one of which will be used for planning your journey. The pod will automatically take you there. The second iPad will be there for your pleasure. A different kind of autonomous vehicle will be tested on a designated route in Greenwich, London. Automated transport can improve the safety and efficiency of urban mobility and I think they can play an important part in improving the environment in uh, complicated urban landscapes. Do you think people here in Greenwich will be hopping on these in the future? Oh, after these trials have gone, are we going to see these vehicles still here? Or? We can look to see where it will work most effectively, where do people want to get on and off. The route we're on now is, a, is going to a residential area, so maybe joining that residential area to the tube station will mean people are less likely to take their cars and more likely to use public transport, which is better for the city environment. Yeah. Is this the next step on the road? I think this is on the spectrum where we've already had the um, Heathrow pods and we're seeing the, the developments of the pods in Milton Keynes and I think the shuttles is another step along that development where we're looking at fully automated vehicles in more complicated environments. What we need to understand is how people choose to use it and what, what services they like and, and the way it's accepted into the overall transport picture. Please select your destination. These prototypes will start their trial journeys in the spring. Although people are hoping to get their own driverless car to take from A to B must wait a little longer. That kind of technology, according to one developer, could be 10 years off. Back in the day, the boffins that actually made the cars shoved a semi into everything. Semi-autonomous steering, semi-autonomous parking, you name it, it had a semi. <laughs>